friends, it's me, your pal, your bud. Do I, I sound dumb saying bud, don't I? Anyways, Kelly Zemnick is here. Hey guys, uh, getting ready for today's show. I've got Nicholas Fernandez dropping by the kitchen today, and I am super excited for this because he's damn funny. He's a really cool guy, so I'm excited to spend some time with him. And gosh, for episode number 19, we're going with banana cream pie, don't you know? Who, oh, who doesn't like a banana cream pie? Oh my gosh, never made a pie before. We're making our own crust for this one. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. To help me whip up a banana cream pie. I know Ooh. this is so exciting. Wow, so exciting! I've and probably I've, only had two of those in my life. I've had I've had it a couple of times. I am a fan. Mm. I am a fan. And uh, we're going to uh, one of my favorites, guys. The Comfort Diner Cookbook. Comfort Diner, of course, is in New York City. It is still there. Go visit. It's got some of the best comfort food eats you can get. And uh, for this. Um, now you can take an easy route and just buy a pre-made pie crust and stuff the filling in this. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's totally fine. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna live on the edge today. Yeah. And guys, we're gonna make the pie crust. What? I wasn't you, nervous, but now one? I am. <laughs> I, I I yes and yes and no. Um, I mean, I think my I my, have my once. I I do live uh, part of the time with my grandmother on my Italian oh, nice. side, my nonna. Oh, cool. She nice. is uh, she is a huge baker. She loves baking, and and uh, so I've assisted. You know, Amazing. I, but I've never right. I've never like done it that's myself. Right. I, I seem I, to I'm book a... people who are taller than me for this show. Yeah, there that's why go. I was trying to stand back so like the the <laughs> the, 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 the force perspective. <laughs> I've already work. started shrinking. Uh, <laughs> you know what's hilarious is like we, yeah. we take this picture with my nonna. Um, she's like. I, I think at this point she's got to be four eleven or something like that, right? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm close. She was five three at some at one point, um, uh -huh. but she I'm, she yeah. <laughs> and and we take this picture with with like me and my sister, and then she's in the middle, and then you, just every year like we get taller, she gets shorter, so it's just yeah. the differential just keeps. I changing. feel it. I feel what your um, Nona's feeling, man. I'm, yeah. I'm with you there, Nona. What's yeah. her name? Uh, Adornata. I, I really Everyone calls her Nata. Nona. Yeah, no, no, not that. No, no, not that. Yeah, I like that. She's good. Awesome. It's, it's got a nice little uh, ring, ring to it. To it and, indeed. Yeah, alliteration almost. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, for our ingredients for the pie crust, um, do you want to do a little Vanna White action for me here? Sure. So yeah, we are, we'll use the bags to show. So you're going to need some all-purpose baking flour. We're going with Robin Hood, my fave. Um, for the pie crust, you're just going to need one egg, a room temp. We are going to need some sugar. We are going with granulated. Ta-da! And uh, we are going to need just a pinch of salt. So, of course, we are using the biggest box of salt I could possibly own. <laughs> there from, we go. From Windsor. The castle. <laughs> yeah, Kyle Petrilla. <laughs> Kyle Petrilla in our Halva episode brought me that. Uh, I don't know uh, where he... Like, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, uh, it's I mean, a large. If you need salt, well, just like, write me. I'll send you some. Here's the thing: like you say, it's huge, but like this looks fine to me. Yeah. Because, well, you're um, taller. Well, no, no. It's just because of the family I come from. We <laughs> host everything. Yeah. Um, you name an event in the year that involves family. So you've got like a lot of we, salt. oh, we have a lot of everything. Like nice. we, we buy stuff in bulk. Um, a lot of Costco. Uh, because like. You know, just by nature of the fact that we have the house that can accommodate people, totally. and like you know, uh, I I've been bartending since I was six or seven years old. Like I like in my family, I, I okay. learned how to I learned how to make a killer Caesar at like seven. And I, I would I would ask people, it's like, how much Worcestershire do you want in it? You know, are, are you do you enjoy? My dad would get along with you. Yeah. yeah. How spicy do you want? My it? dad likes a drink. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, did my dad teach you? Was it my dad? <laughs> uh, you're gonna need a stick of butter, and in most cases, when you're baking, you're gonna want your butter to be at room temperature. In this case, make sure it's cold. Yes. So you just take it out of the fridge. 
And then what we're going to be doing is just cutting it into little cubes. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's... Just don't some people grate it? I, I, I watch a lot, of, a lot of food videos. I know yeah. when you're making puff pastry, you want to grate and or pebble your, your, uh, your butter. There we yes. go. For our next puff pastry episode, we'll remember that. I used to be fat. Yeah, I don't know if you could tell, but I I watch food videos <laughs> living uh, <laughs> vicariously through people. Uh, it is yeah, all good. Yeah, it is yeah, all good. Yeah, um, so. yeah. For this case, though, we're just going to chop it into cubes. Yes. You know, do that. So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to get this set up, and we're going to make step one of the banana cream pie, making the pie crust. So excited. I am, I am pumped. It's going to be good. It's going to be bananas. I'm so excited that it might also uh, look like I'm like playing a camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nicholas is over here. Just pan over. He's cutting some butter. Eh. If you need your butter cubed, call Nicholas. He's available. Um, all right. So what we are going to use for this is the kitchen aid. It's going to make an appearance. Uh, you are not going to put this in a food processor. It says that in the directions. I wouldn't have even thought of that personally, <laughs> but uh, what you're going to do is take. You use your food processor for a puff pastry. That's why they mentioned. You're all. He's all about puff pastry, guys. I just I watched. <laughs> Should have brought you in for a puff pastry episode. So. That, that would have been yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what you're going to do is take two and a half cups of flour, all purpose, please and thank you. I'm going to stick that in there. Uh, then what we are going to do is take a half a cup of sugar, granulated. The recipe does actually say granulated, but we're just going to uh, assume, which generally makes an ass out of you and me. Butter's done. Ta-da. Great. Let's leave that there for a sec. And then, using your best judgment, a pinch of salt, mm. please. Okay. Ha -ha. See what we get. That is too much. There we go. Um, a pinch. A pinch. There we go. And now you awkwardly watch Nick try and get it back in the container. <laughs> you do your thing. I'm just going to be in the background. This will be a just nice little Just some egg. salt. Just trying to... Ta-da. And uh, what we're going to do is set this up onto the KitchenAid. So three, two, pan down here. So this is what we've got in the bowl happening right now. And I was just saying to Nicholas, like to me, it seems a bit too crumbly. So you think we're gonna be okay? Uh, I don't know because what's the next, are we supposed to work it or? So or? yeah, so what we're gonna be doing is taking this onto our uh, floured, uh, floured wax paper. I'll just show you guys kind of, uh, you can't really see in the shot. <laughs> But trust me, it's there. Um, but yeah. So do you think we should add maybe? No, since we're resting it, like um, I, I bake bread um, sometimes. Oh, so when you nice. when you when you when you do bread, like you want to let like the the the, the gluten and everything Correct. form and the and the moisture to get yeah. into the flour. So I think so that's we'll just that's why we're bake. resting it. Okay. Because so they said just... did say like sand, right? Yeah, it does say that it have a crumbly sand texture, is, which is yes. definitely what this is. Yeah. Yeah. Like sands through the hourglass. Yeah. Yes, exactly. All right. Perfect. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, put this onto our sheet. So we're going to plug this down. And um, we're going to divide it in half. Something. We're talking about sad movies, guys. Yeah. Yeah. What's the saddest movie you've ever seen? Ooh, saddest movie. Philadelphia for me. Sat, like the movie I felt saddest watching or like the saddest movie? The movie that just like broke you. For me, definitely Tom Hanks, Philadelphia. Like from the moment that opening soundtrack starts. Yeah, I, 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 I know I still have to watch it, but that, that was before my time. So I, it's I, a I, great I, film. Yeah, yeah it's I've, heard, I've heard really film. good things. Yeah. And that, it, it changed the entire culture of the country, right? It, really it made did. people look at AIDS in a completely different way, right? It did. I think of everyone, right? That's the one yeah, gets, gets yeah. Us, yeah, it's a phenomenal yeah. film, guys. Yeah. And fantastic soundtrack. For me, like the, I, the saddest, saddest movie like that I like that's sad. Saddiest. The saddiest. <laughs> the saddiest. The saddiest movie. That sounds like an award. And the saddiest goes to Schindler's <laughs> List. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I think similar to that was The Pianist. Oh yeah. That was a really good one. Adrian yeah, yeah, yeah. Brody at his best. Um, and then, but the one that made me cry the hardest was Marley and Me. 
Ah, I've not seen that. Um, but it, I, I, it'll it'll break you. It'll break you. It's, it's um, well, endless. especially if you have a dog, I right? Know. Because it, it the know. whole movie is like you see his yeah. whole life, right? Mm. And then the moment that at the end, spoiler alert, um, the dog dies. The dog dies. Um, yeah. And then they have to like, but they they yeah. have to put it down. Mm. It's, it's a lot. Mm. Yeah. Hey, you brought up the subject. <laughs> the saddest movie. Anyways, it was very sad. <laughs> That's all. Very sad. Not sad though, guys. This podcast. Yeah. We, we, look what we, we did, friends. Yeah. Look. So uh, we we flipped over the paper that it was on, and you're just gonna pull this up gently, gently. And if if it kind of falls apart, not to worry. Just you're gonna we're gonna fix it. But uh, that's pretty damn good, man. Yeah. So well, I mean, a good tie crust bits, is crumbly, so you wanna. Yeah. So you're just gonna, gonna patch this there. together. And then uh, what's going to happen uh, with this is that it's going to go into the fridge for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to be back and we're going to start assembling the banana cream whip fun time. That's what it's called. Banana, banana cream, cream whip, whip fun, fun time. time. It's actually the name of this episode, banana cream whip <laughs> fun time. Uh, <laughs> it's actually going to be the name of my firstborn. It's, uh, I'm going to name my firstborn son Banana Whipped Cream Fun Time. No, Mark's going to be like, what? Yeah, he'll have to live up to it. <laughs> I'll have to live up to that name. That'll be a name you're going to have to live up to. Yeah, it's like so, naming uh, someone Striker or or Blaze. Like, Blaze. Like you have Blaze to, is a good name. Yeah, yeah. It's a good yeah. name, Like, but it depends how you spell it. Like, if it's B-L-A-I-S-E, I'm on board. Like, because it's, it, it's okay. kind of French. I would have gone, like, Blaze, like, B-L-A-Z-E. That, that one's harder, though, Blaze. because, like, that's what, you know that kid's going to get bullied. I hope that kid's like, going to be a doctor. Bla Blaze. <laughs> Blaze Zeminic. Zeminicus? Zeminicus. Zeminicus. Yeah. That would be a, that would be a name <laughs> to live up to, yeah. Just is resting in the fridge comfortably. It's making friends with everyone else in my fridge. We tucked her in. Yeah, we tucked her in nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, the oven is set. You're going to want to set your oven because, of course, you're going to have to bake the pie crust before we put uh, the filling in. Uh, set your oven to 350. Uh, it's going to need about 25 minutes. And so while, like once we put it in the oven, then we're going to assemble uh, the, the yummy, yummy filling. And uh, here's what you're going to need, friends. Uh, you're going to need three bananas. Three uh, you're going to need milk. Um, I made the call to go with oat milk because it's delicious. Have you had oat milk? I love oat milk. It's so good. I, I love almond milk. I love oat milk. I, I do not like soy milk. I, I cannot, I'm not a big fan of I soy milk. Get, I no. dig this one. Oat milk is it's really good. It, it, it's almost creamier than regular milk, like which is weird. Yeah. It almost tastes like whole milk. Exactly. Because like for me, cow's milk gives me uh, headaches. Uh, but but this does the trick. For me, cow's milk gives me intense diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Very lactose Which is tolerant. not fine. <laughs> Which is not fine. Yeah. Um, you're going to need some salt. Uh, you're going to need uh, the granulated sugar. We got to bring back the all-purpose bacon flour from Robin Hood. Ta-da. Uh, you're going to need uh, one and a half cups of water. So that's that's on tap. We yeah. got that going. That's good. Yeah, we got a good keg of water. Yeah. Uh, for the very end, you're going to need some whipped cream. And uh, we made the pie crust, so fuck it. I bought a can of whipped cream. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Whip your own if you'd like. We've done it on the show before. Yeah. Uh, but shit, we made the pie crust. So we're we're going to tap out on the whipped cream. Oh Just my use God. the can. You know what that reminds me of? You remember in? Do you ever do it in your mouth? Oh as a yeah, kid? of course. <laughs> so good. You remember Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Yeah. When they they were like they were making whipped cream and they drove they drove past it and they were just whipping a cow. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Making whipped cream. <laughs> And then, it's such a great joke that they just blow by. Like they just they drop that in your lap, and then they're just like, it's just an oompa loompa whipping, whipping violently whipping a cow. And scene. they're like, all right, next joke, like next scene. And they're like, oh, you're not gonna sit in that for a second. It's a, uh, it's, it was it's so, so great. Good. Uh, the other thing you're gonna need, I will just pan down here for a sec. You're gonna need some egg yolks. Uh, you're gonna need six of them. Uh, the egg whites I've just put in the fridge. Maybe I'll make an omelet for dinner. An egg white omelet. Yeah, yeah. Some you know? spinach in there. You make some meringue. 
yeah. if you wanted. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you need the egg yolks, uh, which you're gonna add one at a time. Damn it, mm. I hate those instructions. Uh, once again, though, we're using one of my fave cookbooks, The Comfort Diner, in New York City. Have you been to New York? I have, twice. Oh, uh, no, three, I love three, New York. Three, 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 twice. Yeah. I, I went once, no, twice. I went once with my family, <laughs> and uh, we did, like, the touristy stuff. Yeah. The second time, yeah. I got flown out to interview at Goldman Sachs, which is well, a, well, well. A, a devilish corporation, but they I are. wanted a job there because I wanted the money. How did the interview uh, go? Uh, not great, because I'm here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, the, the interview went fine. I, 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 had, I, I just wasn't qualified for, for enough for the job. I didn't have a, enough... enough. Uh, they asked me questions. They're like, "Did you fly down first class?" I did. I oh, was not. What was it like? I was not supposed to. Tell. I, I got. I was supposed to fly economy, right? Yeah. Um, but then I got to the airport. I was supposed to fly out at, at four o'clock, right? Okay. And so I got to the airport at uh, at one forty-five because okay. I'm like a conscientious person. That's first class time. Yeah. And then so I got there at one forty-five, and then uh, I got at two o'clock. My flight was canceled. Oh. Um. So then I they put me on a five thirty which was subsequently canceled. Um, and then yeah. finally there was a flight at eight o'clock, no, sorry, 8.30, yeah. and the only seat left was in business class. And so well. I, I got I got upgraded and then I spent the next nice. six hours or whatever it was at that point, um, six uh, hours, like uh, yeah. in the first class lounge, yeah. um, drinking copious amounts of uh, Johnny Walker Black while watching <laughs> Art Altered Carbon on Netflix. I mowed through <laughs> most of the season of Altered Carbon, which is a great show, uh, and uh, highly recommend That's so drinking funny. scotch well. <laughs> uh, if I can recommend a Netflix show, uh, Hip Hop Evolution, uh, which I worked on. Oh yeah, you were doing uh, the, I do, the closed captioning, right? I've, I've got this funky little side hustle uh, called transcribing, mm. and I transcribed some episodes of that show. I, I that remember watching your statuses, like seeing your statuses about it. It's like, I'm learning all these new words. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so fun. My Google search history was oh, great. Oh my gosh. Because at the time I was working on it, I was transcribing that show in a Hitler documentary. <laughs> So I was constantly clearing my search School history. Schoolboy Q, Himmler. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of like Sir Mix a Lot or like Shake Your Rumpa and you know Auschwitz. Like it was a weird mix of things. Oh, very God. very strange. Good. Anyhow, okay guys, get over here. We did it. Oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was that? We were just about to get into it, too. We were all excited. The camera was like, fuck this. All right. Good. So uh, let's show the friends. This is very hot, just out of the oven. But look at that pie. It looks beautiful. It really does. Yeah. Very nice. It really came together. It really did. And uh, what we're going to do now is take these beautiful bananas. So I'm just going to switch spots with you. Sure. And uh, just going to put these... In there. Into this guy. So let's get to layering. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. If you're using your fingers, guys, wash your hands. Yes. Please and thank you. Now, if you're gonna say he didn't wash his hands, he has his ring on. I I washed my hands and he then did. put it back on. Yeah. That's how we roll. So we're just saying. Um, just zoom up here. This is not so much like banana cream, but it's banana cream pie because we've got the bananas going down we've got the cream on the stove top and i didn't know that until i came here today there you go the more you know <laughs> all right so what's the oh shit it happened again mom yeah beautiful custard oh i was about to grab it with my hand for oh one second. yeah don't do that let me just tilt this toward camera so we yeah. can see how beautiful it is custard banana pie now we're gonna mix them all right so, uh, what we're gonna do, uh, I believe, is just uh, is just pour this puppy. Look at that! Got the tulips in the shot there. <laughs> Gotta buy yourself tulips, guys. It's a good thing to do. Do you mm. buy yourself flowers, Nick? Um, no, I, I'm not much of a flower person. 
That's fair. Uh, when I was w with my uh, ex, I, I never bought her flowers. <gasps> what? Uh, I, I don't believe in cut flowers. That's the thing. Oh, okay. I would buy her potted plants. Okay. Like I, That's I, fair. I, she had a thing for orchids, so yes. I, I would pretty regularly get her an orchid. Um, nice. Or, uh, or a nice little uh, uh, hydrangea or things like that. Like the little ones. Yeah. And then, Ooh. you know, it's it's nice because then they, I, I think that's better because then as they take care of it, they think of you. Yeah. Right? Like every time yes. you water it, you're like, oh, Nick got me this nice thing, right? <laughs> I was a good boyfriend, I'll say that. Uh, this looks awesome. You're a good pie maker, buddy. I got a this, this thumbs looks up great. for this. This looks great. So uh, let's just scooch back up here for a yeah. sec. So, uh... Now, this is going to go into the fridge for, what, half an hour, 35 minutes? Just, a, just until it sets, right? So we're going to go go uh, get some dinner. Yeah, that sounds and good. And we're going to eat some pie. Go get the whipped cream ready. Yes. It's going to be good. Oh hey, guys. We Hi. did it. High fives. We had sandwiches. Oh, we did. We went for dinner. Subway. Eat yeah. fresh. Today's unofficial Great. sponsor. <laughs> I even got chips, and I never get chips. You just you got chips, and I was I like, got I... chips, and I got a foot long, and I never get a foot long. I thought I said six inch, but I mean, it might not hurt you, but like I I, I usually get a foot long, but no chips. But then I I sprang for the chips, and they they were delicious. They were, del you know, what else is delicious, guys? Pie. We did it. Homemade crust and everything. Oh, of course we used the uh, Comfort Diner cookbook from good old New York City, the banana cream pie recipe. And the pie crust recipe. It, it looks delicious, I'll say we, that. We added some whipped cream to the top. Shall we get ready? I can't fucking wait. Right, let's go we gotta, this. We gotta do this. Let's go in. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, we done it good. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Mmm. I'm getting goosebumps. This feels like a hug from a best friend. Oh my god. You know what's the great part is? I'm gonna tear up. This pie crust is fucking awesome. Pie crust is great, nice and flaky. Oh, good call it. We added an extra egg white because a uh, genius here. Uh, I watch a lot of food shows. Yeah. So not not oh, because I'm, I'm skilled or anything like that. I just steal from the greats. And you know what? It's not too sweet. No. Mm. It's just perfect. Because you don't. You don't I just want to cuddle like... up with this mm -hmm. and just go to bed. A lot of pastries can get overly sweet. Yeah. And then it starts to almost hurt your teeth. You know when you have that yeah. like, that that like that dry yeah. sensation on the back of your mouth. Oh. Guys, I'm, I'm literally great. getting goosebumps. This is so fucking good. This is really good. Oh man, can you marry a cookbook? Mm. I might just marry a cookbook. Thank That's you great. so much for coming today. No problem. Oh my god. When when by the way, do you have any gigs coming up in March that folks should or socials people should um, check you out? Nothing uh nothing in March that's notable. However, um do stay tuned for uh May. I got something big coming out in May. I'm not allowed cool. to talk about it, um mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, yeah, sorry. but it's uh follow me on Instagram at Nick Fernandez Comedy. I post all my gigs and stuff yeah. there. I also have a podcast called the Outside the Party. Nice. It's on all the platforms. It's it's great, and uh, I'll, I'll probably have you on That'd by the time amazing. this comes out. Yeah, and we should um, probably start selling these pies at our shows. Yeah, we should probably sync up our, our release dates as well. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Man, oh today, my God. this, I really just, we've made some coffee. We're going to get in and watch The Masked Singer. Mm. Um, uh, by the way, Bad Waitress, fantastic diner in Minneapolis. This is great. Gotta go check it out. It's really good. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. It's been episode yeah. 19. This one, was fine. One last thing. If you are following along this recipe, it says large egg. It means large. Yeah. So get, a, get an obscenely large egg. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. like ostrich, but a big egg. Yeah. It'll help. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>